I got this nickel boron bolt carrier group for my AR-15 and I'm extremely happy with it. However, something they don't tell you when you buy a nickel boron bolt carrier group is it it dulls, it oxidizes. So unlike bare steel, when bare steel oxidizes it rusts. And you'll see pitting and rust and everything like that. But when nickel boron oxidizes it just dulls up so it's not gonna look as nice when you buy it and it's brand new it comes polished um, right from the factory as soon as they're done with the coating it almost has this same look on the back and then when you get it usually depending on what company you order it from um, it has a, a very polished look so we're gonna one wipe this bolt carrier group down I uh, just finished firing it yesterday um, we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna bring the little, little bit of the shine back we're not gonna polish it like a you know a barrel polish or anything like that just uh, bring some of that nickel boron look back to the bolt carrier group so we got everything taken apart and wiped down and uh, we're gonna start polishing some of this up but I wanted to point something out first uh, something kind of a lot of people some people are kind of skittish when it comes to a bolt carrier group and I think it's because when you buy a bolt carrier group it, they ship it as the bolt carrier group you you don't typically buy the bolt and then the bolt housing and you know all these other parts you just buy the fully assembled bolt carrier group so a lot of people when they clean they'll just wipe it down lubricate it and they're done Another simple step you can do to improve the reliability of your AR-15, AR-10, whatever you're using, um, is to take this extractor off. So this extractor goes right on the side of the, the bolt itself, and once you take the bolt out, um, there's this little extractor pin. So to get that out, I just use the firing pin push down just a little bit and then that pin will slide right out and you can pull it out the side and inside of there that's where your firing pin slides back and forth so your firing pin sits inside there so you can see the action And that's basically what your firing pin does so if there's you know a ton of carbon buildup inside of this or gunk or you know excess lubricant that doesn't need to be there um, you know you're basically asking for problems down the road now granted this firing pin stays in there and it doesn't move very much it only moves a little bit so it's not really something that is probably going to cause a jam or it, nothing like that unless your weapon's ridiculously dirty but if you're like me and you like to take care of stuff you like to clean it you know do a heavy duty clean every now and then um, that's definitely something that's super easy to take off and it you know you'd be surprised how dirty it gets in there so I just wanted to point that out for those of you that don't already know about it um, but we're gonna polish these up a little uh, I'm going to try the hand polish first and then I might just buzz real lightly with the, the Dremel, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So there's a difference in polish or what I would call a deep clean um, compared to an oxidized bolt carrier group, uh, nickel boron bolt carrier group. So I polished this side. Um, and, and I wouldn't really call it polished. All I did, uh, I started with the hand polish and just to speed things up, I literally buzzed right across it just one even time uh, with the Dremel and it just restored it like it was brand new. Um, and I don't know how well you'll be able to tell uh, in this video, but I didn't do this side. And you can see a little bit, um, it's not quite as shiny. But uh, I think right here is the easiest place to tell on these two top rails. This one is polished, 
and this one is not polished or cleaned so you can I mean it's pretty easy to tell the difference there and they're both wiped down they're both cleaned I, I uh, wiped them down with a cleaning solution before I started polishing but that polishing it just cleans that oxidation right up so um, this isn't something I'd recommend doing over and over and over again uh, but I've owned this AR-15 for about a year uh, and I'm probably going to continue to do this once a year uh, just get that residual oxidation off uh, they stay in a gun safe they're you know they're well maintained I take care of them but no matter what you do they're still going to oxidize a little bit uh, so probably once a year I'll, I'll restore it back to this finish um, just to kind of keep it in I guess original condition so I'll uh, finish up here and then we'll show you the final product so here's the final polished and deep clean nickel boron bolt carrier group um, as you can see I mean it's night and day difference um, not sure how well you'll be able to tell in the video but you can definitely tell it, it this looks brand new um, I'm extremely happy with that um, and again, you know, I'm not polishing it to take any of the coating off. I'm not, all I'm doing is kind of restoring it light, light, light polish, just restoring that uh, factory finish uh, to get rid of some of that oxidation over the last year. Uh, like I said, I would not recommend doing this over and over again. I wouldn't do this every time you clean. One, you're wasting your time. The nickel boron. Uh, plating is extremely durable so for you to do that over and over again I just I feel like it would be a waste so um, but over time that plating will oxidize which is what you saw uh, it wasn't just dirty it was oxidized uh, and it needs an actual polish or something of that nature in order to get it back to that factory finish um, it's not gonna. You're not gonna eat through uh, the the plating, uh, especially if you're you know light polish on it. Uh, all you're doing is taking that outer oxidation off. So, uh, if you guys like the video, give me a like, uh, subscribe. There's, I'm gonna try to do one video a week at least. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Thanks.